former freshman football quarterback at the University of San Diego has filed a lawsuit claiming sexual hazing by football players inside on campus locker rooms. The football player left USD in August after the alleged incidents. CBS 8's David Gofferson takes a closer look at the lawsuit's claims. Into the end zone they go. Touchdown, Toreros. Freshman quarterback A.J. Perez says the hazing first started eight days after he showed up for football practice on August 1st at the University of San Diego. It continued on campus until he was so humiliated, he said he left the football team and the university on August 17th. Perez filed this lawsuit on Monday, seeking damages for physical injuries, hazing, and emotional distress. And the ball comes out. In the lawsuit, Perez alleges he was forced to participate in a so-called rookie show inside the USD locker room where upper-class football players allegedly drank booze and used drugs while about 30 rookies were coerced to perform graphic sexual acts and dance naked. If they did not agree, the rookies would get hit with wooden spoons, the lawsuit alleges, and quote, Plaintiff also felt that if he did not perform in some way, it could jeopardize his career as his teammates would not block or catch for him. The lawsuit also claimed several USD coaches had previously been players who participated in similar hazing rituals. Torero's head coach Brandon Moore is new to the university. Here's what Moore told CBS after being hired in the spring. I'm eager to, to, to have an opportunity to just go out and lead the way that I do and, and maybe bring a couple more championships back home. The university issued a statement saying in part, it was Coach Moore who, upon first hearing of the allegations, immediately reported them to the university and in conjunction with leadership, temporarily halted the entire program and initiated an internal inquiry, which resulted in preliminary suspensions. Now this lawsuit goes into very graphic detail about hazing incidents that we simply cannot describe on television. The lawsuit is publicly available on the San Diego court website and we'll just leave it at that. The university says they are conducting an internal investigation and they cannot comment further until that investigation is complete. At USD, David Godfordson, CBS 8. Thank you, David. Pettis' attorneys say his client would not comment on the lawsuit, which at this point is only filed against UST. No players or coaches are named as defendants.